Once upon a time, there was a queen named Cassiopeia, renowned for her beauty. Her daughter, Andromeda, was just as lovely. Cassiopeia smiled and said, My dear, just look at us. We're so exquisite, that we must be even more dazzling than the sea nymphs. Cassiopeia's palace stood near the coast, and her boast soon reached the sea nymphs. Angered, the nymphs cried, More beautiful than us? Ridiculous. Enraged, the fifty myriads, guardians of the sea, took their grievance to their mighty protector, the sea god Poseidon. They demanded retribution, and Poseidon couldn't refuse fifty furious nymphs. The queen will be punished, he promised. To teach Cassiopeia a lesson, Poseidon unleashed a terrifying sea monster upon her kingdom. This creature terrorized the shores, sinking boats and devouring sailors, leaving the people desperate. They went to King Cepheus, pleading for help. He turned to his wife and said, This monster is here as a punishment for your pride. We must find out what the gods demand to set things right. When Cepheus finally discovered the answer, he was heartbroken. The only way to rid the kingdom of the monster was to sacrifice their beloved daughter, Andromeda. Andromeda was chained to the rocks by the coast, awaiting the monster's approach. It seemed inevitable that she would be devoured. But, as fate would have it, the hero Perseus happened to be flying past the coast at that very moment. Spotting Andromeda in peril, he swooped down just as the monster lunged toward her. With a swift blow, Perseus decapitated the beast, saving Andromeda. Afterward, Perseus and Andromeda were married, and Cassiopeia, humbled by the ordeal, never boasted again. When their lives ended, the king, queen, Andromeda, and Perseus were all immortalized in the night sky as constellations. To this day, you can still see their stars shining above.